Oh my god. <sighs> These are nice as well. Oh my god, that's wild garlic. Going over to the GoPro. Chuck it all in here so we can get good and just stew. Yes. Remember to subscribe. If it falls, it will hurt. You right guys, welcome back. So today I'm doing a stealth bushcraft camp on some farmland. So I've got some working farms right behind me, but right in the centre there's this wood with some derelict buildings here. And then also I'll show you in a minute, there's old farm equipment here so it looks really cool. The whole place surrounding me is covered in nettles so I'll have to do a little bit of stomping down. But the idea is to build this up here with some, uh, with some twigs. I was Actually I'm going to make a roof like that, so the idea is to make a roof here, have some uh, long twigs coming down there, there's plenty of wood here uh, to get from, dead wood, but yeah, it's good to be back, I've uh, finished my degree, I've got some really good grades, um, the last module's coming in so I won't say I've got first overall yet, but touch wood, I do, I've been working really hard on that, that's where I've been this whole time, but I'm back now, uh, stealth bushcraft camp, I've got no tarp as well, so fingers crossed it doesn't rain. So this is the area right here. It is absolutely just covered in nettles. Got this here. This is another feeder thing. If you could tell me what that is, I have no clue. And then there's another piece of farm equipment in there. I actually don't know what that is, uh, but this one over here is pretty cool. So that's really cool. So this is my surrounding area, might have a sit on that later, I don't want to get a rusty ass, but... <laughs> and then, these are like the old buildings, I reckon these were the old farmhouses, and these were the old equipment. Then that's the working field there, and the farmer was in his garden, he saw me walk past, but I think he just thought I was walking through the field. So if he comes, I'll just be like, oh yeah, I'm just doing um, some nature stuff, some photography and that, don't worry about the sleeping bag, because <laughs> obviously that was on the bottom of my bag as well. So I'm thinking right now stomp this area out because i've came here at about three o'clock so the sun's out until later now but I have about five six hours i reckon of, of decent sunlight so stamp it down and then i start working on the first time i've made one bushcraft roof at the top Okay, so since I've stomped all those nettles down, I just got attacked by like a million flies. Luckily there are only black flies, um, not the biting kind, so that's good. I didn't really have a plan for what I was going to do with the roof, but what I did have a plan for was, in my previous videos, you may have noticed that I struggled because I didn't have paracord. This is 100 meter of military paracord. <laughs> I've definitely got enough now. So I don't care if this doesn't look too beautiful. I want I want two stands in front of me that will lean onto this wall and then just across the top like that. So that's gonna do there. And then if I, what I wanna get round to as well, I do have enough time. Uh, two logs on the floor, two straights, and then a bunch of horizontals going across it to make a, a little raised bed as well. And I'll be more than comfy and then when I'm sitting down and lying down, there's so much nettle coverage and tree coverage, I will not be able to be seen, even if I had a torch on, I reckon. I reckon. There is a house in the distance, but they won't be able to see me in here, for sure. I am just, I feel like I've got to be really careful with my volume. It's a shame, I wanted to go like right inside of this, this brick area here, but there's too much rubble on the ground. So there's only a little bit here that I can, uh, I'm thinking of piling back up on the walls. Because there is bricks here, I can put the bricks back on, try and try and make it level, and that'd be all good. Because this is a train line right there. Alright, so what I'm going to start by doing is getting these logs out of the way here. God, there's, there's loads I can use, that's awesome. Get them out of the way, they're really ingrown. Just want to lay them down on the floor for now, try not to break them because I need the length. He's got mushrooms on him. Not sure if those ones are edible. Cool there. Oh, I've got my. I brought my wild foraging book with me, so I'll have a look afterwards. 
<laughs> That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Just want to clear up this grounds. Getting them locks out of the way, clear up the grounds. Oh, God. Nice. That came out easy. And then I'm going to get these bricks and I'm going to start putting them back in the slots. Look at that. There's a brick. <laughs> Feel like a bricky. There's another brick. Nice, most of them are whole as well. The holy bricks. <laughs> the moss works to kind of stick them together as well, it gives it a bit of friction. Oh, what the? That's like a chimney. I'm not gonna use that obviously because I don't want it falling on me. The whole thing has just fell apart here. Let's try and build it up to a similar level. There's a few tiles here. I kind of tempted to, to save them and then put them on the top. <laughs> Use them for my own roof. If they're big enough, I'll use them. There we go. Keep them over here for now. So I just put one up here, but it's a bit thick. But I'll still use it. Keep wanting to shut off the camera and keep finding cool stuff. Look, this one's a proper smoothed out piece. So, I don't know where it'll go, you know. Up here or something. <laughs> Perfect fit. What was really, you know, giving me the urge to come back outside and do another bushcraft camp was I've been re watching all the alone seasons. And you know, when you watch them, you just, you want to get outside. You want to get outdoors. I have got food with me though. I'm not skilled enough and there's not a lake nearby to try some fishing. <laughs> it's going well so far. I've got to say that is looking really, really good. So I've got a bunch of curved pieces here. I'm just going to put back to front, get that all level. So I'll get it level to about here because this just started getting a bit wonky <laughs> but that part looks good you can tell the difference from where i've added quite a bit and now look how flat the ground is this was covered in nettles before and like it was full with all of these tiles here all of these bricks and all of those bricks so you can imagine how uneven it was but got that sorted now so i'm going to build i'm going to put those last bricks on top and then i'm going to build the structure for the roof so like I say, just two, um, and then going across like that sort of thing. Should be good. And then for most of the roof, I can <laughs> I can use these tiles here, which is just fantastic. Yeah, they're good tiles, and I've, I've got quite a few of them there. All dug out from the ground, so I've been putting in work. So I'm almost ready for food now. I'm definitely feeling it. Probably should hold the camera more up here, getting blinded by the sun at the same time. No one's came past me yet on any of this farmland, so that's good. And then I've got a bunch of logs here that I can use for the top. So the area is starting to get a little more flattened out. Probably eat my dinner like sitting on there, not on the centre part. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, just looking out of the field, looking at what I've made. And there's a few flies and stuff, but they're not bothering me anymore. And they only really come out when I flatten some new stuff. Like, for example, I just flattened this little area and they've all just gone. <laughs> so I only needed the bricks here as well, but it looks a bit none of, none of the bricks in here around there that structure looks really cool to camp in but that's just a little bit too close to the farm that was the main house and i reckon this was like the extension part here really cool there rebuilding it like a bricky construction worker yeah throwing in a bit of bushcraft too making a bushcraft roof can't get better than this and it's just a lovely day so it's about 18 degrees at the moment and i've just got this breeze that's coming through oh my god it's fantastic so there's a few clouds up there. I don't know if you probably can't see them because of the sun, but there is a few clouds, but I'm not worried about them. So when I get this sorted, this roof, even if there is a drip drop, it won't hit me. 
So I've got I've got plenty of leaves here that I, I could chuck on top. I've literally just thought of that as just turning around and seeing them. Chuck these fat leaves on top as well, just for a bit more extra protection. So yeah, let's get let's get round to it. Right, let's see if these last few bricks can get me to where I want to be. The moss is working really well. Chinking it for me. Oh, I've got an empty gap down here. Probably could just get an old brick, but I don't know, we'll see. I don't want to squish the snail, let's just flick him off. Say back to front, back to front. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, he's got a little knobble on the bottom. Can I smash that off with? <laughs> Did not expect that. God, these ones are heavy. What the hell? There we go, perfect. There's one on. <laughs> How about that? Nearly at head height, so it's kind of going to be perfect. Getting here, I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to do the bed uh, width ways across here rather than length ways. It just saves me having to build a really long roof. Saves a lot of time. Let's get round to it. Let's get rid of this brick here. Wow, that's almost perfect. I'll get one of the half ones to slot there and then this one can go here so yeah. don't care if it's slightly off don't care i tell my ocd that so i don't care that does bother me that it's overhanging so just chuck him down there all right i'll be back when i start to build the roof which is just got the perfect log perfect in height it's pretty straight as well so I'm not looking for any Y sticks uh, because I've got my paracord I'm just gonna tie it together with whichever log I run that way try and make a bit of a point so I can get it in the ground oh my god it's the mushroom one well those mushrooms are gone I haven't got a log to chop onto so I'm sorry if you're finding this painful. <laughs> there we go, that's spiky enough. Okay, that ground's pretty soft as well. Perfect, stands up right. Now when I've got one coming across here, it'll keep it much more taut. Alright, time to find another one of these. Target acquired. I can probably use that bit of metal as well on the roof. <laughs> well this is more than long enough, isn't it? Make a normal sized bloody house for that one. So I don't want to make too much noise. I'm going to use this silky gun boy. I don't think you've seen me use it yet. I have tested it. <laughs> And it's that good. <laughs> oh, and I've also kept this one mushroom. Um, I'm not thinking of eating it, even though I do think it's an edible one. I just want to look in my book when I get, when I've done this and I sit down. Uh, yeah wild food all about foraging in the UK there we go got them done now it's time to start chucking some across the top I've got stung so many times on my hands I, I couldn't count me everywhere they're all stung this is a very that'll do situation just got a bunch of lamps of sticks all the same length or slightly longer just to finish off the roof over there perfect area for wood just a massive deadfall so I, you can see where I've cleared out the little area there but there's still so much left to get so I'll be coming here when I I want to make my raised bed I'll get the the two logs from here just to ch -ch -ch 
for two sections and then lengths again to to fill that out. Well, I'll either do lengths or I'll do horizontals, whatever's less work. See how many of these I can carry at once. I'm hoping all of them. I don't want to do two trips. Perfect. Oh, I forgot one. There we go. No. Determined. Oh. Alright, so what I'm thinking of doing is just getting, um, I'm not going to fill in all the gaps because all the, the twigs are wonky in different shapes and I can't find perfect straight ones. So I'll make um, the framing, so I'll make the framing and then I'm just going to get a bunch of leaves off the trees, chuck them on top and then I can chuck the tiles on top as well. And then maybe that metal thing I found over there, the metal grid. Oh my god. <sighs> Turns out that one wasn't strong enough to hold him. <sighs> well I've got all the stuff now, I've just got to tie a different one to it and then chuck them back on. Right, we're back with 2.0 and <laughs> I started recording just in case anything were to happen again because that would just be unreal. So it's leaning inwards now, this this one here, because I didn't dig it in far enough to the ground. I've got a couple of bricks at the bottom propping it up, but I don't want to put any more weight on there, uh, log-wise, in case it collapses to the right, because that's worse than just one of the, the twigs breaking and everything falling off, I reckon. So I'm going to get some, some leaves on the top now. I've had a bit of issues with my camera, it keeps playing up and stopping the recording even though um, my SD card is huge in it and it's got loads of battery like it'll stop recording after a minute so I just had some major tilting problems I had to put a load of bricks there a load of bricks there because it was starting to just all fall over oh my god it would have been a disaster I don't know what I'll do if, it'll, if it all fell over I've got the logs here for the beds I'm going to do lamps I'm going to get the leaves now for the top of there I haven't been down it yet. Oh, that tree looks awesome. It'd be cool to camp under there as well. Oh, what's what's this? I do not know what that is. That's cool. I should have bought a twig for smashing down the nettles because I'm getting stronger a lot, even through my trousers. The pain. There we go. really nice round here. Might make a camp around here one time. I wouldn't destroy the lavender, but it's nice and flat here. These are nice as well. Oh my god, that's wild garlic. I'm not even joking. That's wild garlic. That's one of the things I do know. Okay, 
That's changed everything. I didn't bring any garlic with me. I'm having that with my dinner. So there's more over there as well. So, oh my God, that's nice. I absolutely love wild garlic. There's even more over there. Oh my God, there's more. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm just saying, I'm coming here next time to camp. This is, look how flat this ground is. There's nowhere near the fields. No one could see me. Oh, this is amazing. Yep, next time it's here. That one's a little bit too obvious, but I needed to, I needed to use that brick wall for the first time. I'm looking forward to the second time here. So much wild garlic as well, it's amazing. It's holding, it's holding. Tricky times. Okay. God, I hope I got enough. Probably don't. But... No, I might do. I know it's not going to rain, so I don't need to make it perfect. It's kind of, kind of just doing this for me. That is blocked so much out. I think I just need to do one more cutting. Looks good though. What's it look like on that? Oh yeah, nice. Ah, it's looking proper bushcrafty. Much better than using those tiles. And this is it's holding strong, that's good. Yeah, one more bit I need to cut. And then I'll get the garlic. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, look at me with this camera on my head. It's not often I see myself with it on. There we go. That's the bushcraft roof done. So everything from here is just an added extra. I could honestly sleep on that ground if I wanted to. I've got an inflatable mat, I've got my sleeping bag, and it's only dropping uh, to 10 degrees Celsius all night. So, you know, it's gonna be perfect. Probably won't even need the sleeping bag, just need the clothes on the back. So I've built up that wall to make it sturdy. I've chinked it with moss, accidentally, because the moss is already on the bricks. I've made this twice and then I've covered it with leaves. That is completely waterproof, that's a thick layer of leaves there so even if it came down reasonably hard it probably wouldn't do anything. So I'm going to get some wild garlic now for my food. I'm going to focus on my food first before I focus on my bed because I've got more daylight anyway and one of my new items, if you watch the new item video, I've got a head torch for if it was to get dark. I'm going to get the wild garlic. On the back there's a tiny tiny little patch that just needs a few more leaves so I'll get them. It'll take 5-10 seconds to get what I need. So, going over to the GoPro. I hope you don't mind the sound of trains because I've got to put up with that all night. <laughs> I'm off to go get me some wild garlic. Some of the fresher stuff preferably. Like this down here. That's nice. I'm not going to take it all, obviously. Well, there's so much, I don't think it matters. <laughs> Let's take the young stuff. Also, this wilts down so much. It wilts down like spinach. So I'm going to grab an absolute bunch of it. So what I'm going to be doing, I've got chorizo, I've got onion, I've got this garlic now, and I've got rice. Got some salt too, just uh, for seasoning, of course. It's just a really simple, it's gonna be a really lovely meal. These are very clean as well, they're not gonna need washing. Oh, I absolutely love wild garlic, I can't stress it enough. This is the perfect find. 
I'm going to be looking at the book sitting down. I'll show you it later. I'm going to be looking in there to see if there is anything nearby me because I've seen a couple of things that do kind of jog my memory that I think are edible. But obviously, I'm not going to try anything unless 100% now. Just quickly going over this wild garlic with a brush just to get any sort of grit impurities off of it. I like these little blocks here. I've got, <laughs> got a little working station. This is a mushroom brush as well. <laughs> Multi use out of it, I guess. All right, so I've got all my food prep there. Just chorizo, onion, wild garlic. This pot here is for boiling the rice. I just got some boil in the bag stuff just for ease. So I'm going to fry it all off, chuck it in the tub, and then the boil in the bag rice doesn't take too long. So then I'll get this on and do that because this will keep a lot better than the rice. I don't think you've seen me use this stove yet. It's power. That's what it is. Now the chorizo releases loads of oil, so I don't think I'm going to use any of that, but if I do, the pan's going to be hot anyway, just to throw a tad in. I'm going to put the wild garlic in right at the end of that cooking, because it wilts down super fast. Yep, it's hot. I didn't even need to craft a seat because I've got one made for me. I just like simple camping meals. You know, if I had permission and it wasn't a stealth bushcraft, I'd bring some really advanced cooking to the table. That's what I'd do. But for now, this is okay. Let's try and get these on the bottom so they release the juices. I've got a whole other half of a link as well, so I can have a whole extra meal if I wanted. Oh, that is smelling gorgeous already. Oh, that is gorgeous. He's just want to wilt into one big pile and trying to keep them separated. Here we go. That's a bit better. Ooh, that looks good. Take this off. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to chuck it in here. Turn that off for a sec. Chuck it all in here so we can get good and just stew. That smells amazing. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's good. I'm not even kidding, that's been on less than a minute, maybe a minute. Ah, oh my god, that's hot. Oh, that's insane. I've never tested this properly, and that is just. Wow, that's baffling. Perfect amount of water as well, I must say. One minute, it took one minute to boil. I'm pretty sure when I bought it, it was like, um, it said it would take like four minutes. Probably because this is so small, but that's insane. Okay, I think this rice is done. Ooh. Okay, the bits at the bottom are definitely done, but the bits at the top, still a little bit al dente. Let's have a look. Oh crap. Oh yeah, yeah, that's done, that's done. All right, let's turn this off. Oh. Turn it off. I said turn it off. I didn't think I'd... Ah, fuck. I'll cut this, chuck it in there, and then I'm eating. So I've bought my mozzie net just in case mozzies did come around at night time. I've only seen one or two, but they are pretty big, and I do not want to get bit to death every night, so that's what I'll do. Perfect. That does look perfect. I didn't put a timer on, I just guessed it as well. Chuck a little bit of seasoning on top just for the rice. Season the rest. Bit of foraging in there too for you. Bit of everything on the first bite.
Oh wow. That is absolutely lovely. So change of plan. I thought I was going to do lengths for the whole things, but I only have two logs that are actually long enough. They're not ideal, they're not perfectly straight, but yeah, I'm going to do width ways across the whole thing. I've just got to saw all of these up. This one doesn't actually need sawing. Let's start with them. Okay, I don't know why I put it there. But <laughs> yep, let's fill that out and then I've got my bed ready for tonight. Piece. I did it just before sundown. Oh, it's done. And I didn't mean for it to be like this, but oh, where am I? Okay. I'll just stay out of frame with my head. I didn't mean for it to be like this, but there's a nice dip in the middle for where my butt is. Uh, so I've raised it at the head and it's raised at the feet. It's almost gonna be hammock like, so that's gonna be nice. But yeah, it's done. That is done. Um, I've, I've hit off all the little marbles and spiky bits so when I put my air mat on it it's not going to pop so you can bag on top of that and we're ready I just really wanted to finish before the sun went down because it would have made stuff diff difficult and really obvious with my head touch on because there is that way that way there is a house directly pointed at me so if I had torches on at night it would be obvious and then the brick wall are fixed then the bushcraft roof. It's like I'm in the Amazon with that. And a train to top it off. This is the first time I'm ever using this. Seems really durable. It blew up so easy, so that's amazing. And even better, it's got a pillow on the top, so that is just gorgeous. I've just got a few leaves in case there was any spiky parts in the midsection. Seems like this could handle it, but I don't really want to pop it. Seeing as it's really good. Make sure there's nothing there. And then just move this out of the way because that looks like a hazard waiting to happen. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Let's get the sleeping bag on top of that. And I'm ready. Well, it's definitely not in stealth colours, but it's in comfort colours. I'll tell you that. Oh, my days. Look at that. What a bushcraft adventure. Worked out in the end. Yes. More room than in a tent too. So this is how we're looking going into night time. I've just put my mozzie net up there, just for the odd one. Uh, only my face is going to be exposed, so I haven't pegged it down. And <laughs> It's literally like a curtain. I'm just going to drag it over my face when I need to. Everything's under the cover in case it rains. The only thing that isn't is my food supplies. I'm keeping them just over there in case any bugs or stuff come smelling it so they can go over there. But perfect. It really couldn't have gone better today. I'm absolutely loving it. Perfect day to come out. Perfect night. It's really not going to get cold. 10 Celsius at the lowest. I'm looking forward to this sleep because I'm a little bit knackered. It's the most exercise I've done in a while. This is definitely the hardest I've ever worked for an overnight camp. This bushcraft shelter took it out of me. I needed it though because I've been adding a few extra pounds over lockdown. But it's good to come out here. You know, the birds are chirping. It's absolutely lovely in this bit of forest. Like I say, there's farmer fields around me. This is a stealth bushcraft camp. And uh, even rebuilt an old abandoned farmhouse in the process. I foraged, I built, and now I'm gonna sleep. For now, I might go for a little walk 
I'll have a little breeze. And this is so comfy. That air mat, thank you mom, it's, it's doing wonders. It does not even feel like I'm sitting on logs right now. I can't imagine what it feels when you're lying down. Cheers for watching this far through. I'll give you a reminder, remember to subscribe because it's only going to get better than this. I'm already dozing off right now. It's just really calm in here. The roof looks a little precarious, but I have faith in it. The balance of the bricks as well, I have a size, so that should help. If it falls, it will hurt. It wouldn't kill me, just it would hurt.